Section 3.2b is about solving equations, this time using subtraction and not just addition. So in this section we're going to use something called the subtraction property of equality. Very similar to the addition property of equality. It simply says this, you can subtract a number from both sides of an equation and the equation stays true or stays equal. Again, this idea of doing something to both sides keeps the equation balanced, the scales balanced, and this idea can help us to isolate an unknown. So let's look at some examples that involve solving an equation using subtraction. If I have a q plus 21 equals 18. Here, my goal is to isolate the unknown. Remember, isolating the unknown is getting the variable by itself, and that will tell us exactly what the variable equals. Well, here I'm adding a 21. How do I get rid of a positive 21? Well, the answer is to subtract 21 from it. So because I'm because the 21 is connected to the Q with addition, we do the opposite operation. We subtract. And the subtraction property says I have to do that to both sides. So we end up with 18 minus 21. That's going to be a negative 3. So the solution to this equation is Q equals negative 3. Let's really shake things up now by doing a fraction. Okay, my goal is to isolate the x or get the x alone. Right now I'm adding 3 fourths. I can eliminate that by subtracting 3 fourths. So those will cancel out giving me x equals. Now I've got to figure out what 1 eighth minus 3 fourths is. I'm going to go over here and do this horizontally because this allows me to get common denominators a little bit easier. Well, the common denominator is uh, 8, so I need to multiply this fraction by 2 over 2, giving me new fractions of 1 over 8 minus 6 over 8. 1 minus 6 is negative 5, so this ends up being negative 5 over 8. Notice the fractions aside, I did the same thing. I subtracted a value from both sides, got a number, and then isolated the variable, and that told me what my variable equaled um, so that I could solve the equation this time using subtraction and not just addition.